What's going on Clash Crashers? Rocky here today and today we're back on our Town Hall 9 account We're gonna be taking a look at some Town Hall 9 witch attacks These aren't necessarily gonna be by me But these are gonna be some war replays that we're gonna break down and talk about if you guys remember in the update The witches got a pretty big buff if we go ahead and take a look here at witches uh, and take a look at this image. This image was taken from my How to Witch Slap video that was recorded about a year ago. But if we look at the DPS, which has got a full 100% DPS boost, up to 120 damage per second, and also gained 60 hit points, which is a 20% increase, making these witches tankier, stronger, it's crazy, why did witches get a buff? They're already so strong. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out some war attacks, show you guys some witch strategy, some witch slap, some go wee wee bow, some awesome stuff with some witches using these replays. So that's the battle plan for today. If you guys are pumped up for it, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on those notifications and leave a like on the video. Let's go ahead and hop into it, guys. All right, so first up, we're gonna have Misa coming in here and he likes to use witch slap with some Valkyries. I believe Cleric Dragoon coined this attack as the Red Witch, but then Cleric Dragoon left us for PUBG. I miss you, Goon. I miss you, bro. But first, let's hop in, check out the army. Uh, he's got six total witches in here, four uh, Valkyries, six healers, and then a golem, and then he's got bowlers in the clan castle. Now, a lot of these attacks are going to use bowlers in the clan castle. I thought this attack started over here. <laughs> Wrong attack, but this one, uh, this one's going to work out pretty well. So he's got those three witches on each side, basically like a basic witch slap. Going to send the witches up the side. A lot of times you'll see four witches on either side and just kind of flanking the base and sending them around. The nice thing is, since these witches are a little bit tankier, a little bit beefier, uh, they're able to withstand the splash damage a little bit better. So what Misa does is he uses those Valkyries to clear out some of the buildings, uh, clear out the heroes, just clear out some of the congestion uh, for the center of the base for his heroes and the bowlers. Now we do see the bowlers start to walk a little bit there, but it's really not that big of a deal. If you get a good funnel in using your witches, it should work out for you. You see those witches coming right back in, jumping right through there, throwing down that second jump to get up to the, sec the second phase of the base. And he's just going to absolutely wreck through here. You see those witches doing a great job staying alive. There's a Tesla farm over here on the left side. But that's not going to be a problem. The healers stayed on the witches, and sometimes you'll see the healers switch off the witches. And I'm pretty sure I have an example of that a little bit later, of how it's still going to be okay. Witch Slap is probably the most forgiving attack at Town Hall 9. And what I mean by that is, if something goes wrong, witches are so strong that it usually will be okay and kind of right itself. Now, I'm not saying every single Witch Slap is going to be perfect and you're always going to three-star. You know, things can go wrong. They're, you know, things happen in attacks. But Witch Slap is probably the most forgiving Town Hall 9 attack right now, in my opinion. Uh, we see Misa still has his Queen's ability right there. Witch is working, and this is what I mean. They can just tank right through all that splash damage. And since they do more DPS, they're just going to wreck through. Even these Witches down here at the bottom... A whole Tesla farm. They took it out. No problem. It's absolutely crazy how strong these witches are. So I, I had to showcase some Town Hall 9 witches just because they are so powerful right now. And if you weren't using witches before, you might want to consider it now. On my new Town Hall 9, I know we're unlocking witches and I'm going to be upgrading them to level 2 as soon as possible. That way we can use them in war and have these awesome war attacks. I mean, Witch Slap is one of the best low hero, low Town Hall 9 Three star strategies. There we go. Nice attack there by Misa. Let's hop into the next replay. All right, guys. I thought this attack was pretty interesting by HTG here. Uh, he's going to be doing basically a go wee wee bow. Golems, witches, wizards, and bowlers in the clan castle. If you guys remember, go wee wee used to be really popular back in the day. Now you add bowlers in there, and it's super super strong. So we got twelve witches. One golem, nine wizards, a baby dragon in there just to help out the funnel. Got that skeleton spell, a uh, poison spell in the clan castle. Two jumps, a rage and a heal. Two jumps, a rage and a heal is pretty standard Town Hall 9 witch slap uh, spell composition, just in case you're wondering. So what he's going to do here is he's going to use a witch, that baby dragon, the wizards, just to start creating out this funnel. He really wants to make that nice wide funnel so when he brings his troops in here, they're not going to want to run. One of the biggest problems I see is people don't get a good enough funnel and bowlers start to walk. If your bowlers start to walk, it can really mess with your kill squad. So again, just throwing in witches here, letting them work and letting them just take out some of these buildings so that that funnel will be nice and established. Using some of his witches to go ahead and get that funnel established. In comes the golem, in comes the rest of the witches. And you're just going to see these guys just wreck right through this base. And it's just absolutely crazy. I thought this was a really nice attack, so that's why I wanted to showcase it for you. Jump spell getting everything right into that base right there. See the king, queen, bowlers going in. And even though he got that huge funnel, you see the bowlers still want to walk. They'll go back in eventually. 
But bowlers don't take much to walk, guys. You really want to make sure you funnel them out pretty well. The Lava Hound coming out of the Clan Castle. Not too much of a big deal. I mean, the Queen will work on that Lava Hound. It will hold up the Queen a little bit. But look at these. The Witches, without even healers on them, they just produce enough skeletons that it's okay. Like, they produce enough skeletons to get down and through the base in just such a successful manner here. It's absolutely ridiculous how strong these Witches are. Uh, taking out splash damage, just taking out tons of buildings. We see the kill squad getting in real well up top. Uh, the Lava Hound pop, Queen's doing a great job, you know, clearing the pups, clearing out some of these buildings. Bowlers, bowlers are just so good because that bounce damage just gives so much more range to some of these attacks. It's just ridiculous how well bowlers work, honestly. I mean, bowlers are pretty much OP at every Town Hall 9 attack when they're in the clan castle. And honestly, with witches, I feel like witches and bowlers. They just go hand in hand. Like, you can't ask for a better combination right now. So, we see the witches at the bottom just going to clear out everything. Witches at the top coming in. And this was just a really well executed attack. Planned out his attack. Got that nice funnel established. And everything just went exactly to plan here. Queen's going to help clear out that wizard tower right there. But still, enough witches that it wouldn't have been an issue even if the queen didn't get that down. And just going to absolutely wreck through the end of this base. We're going to speed it up because it's just trash buildings from there. But. That's a go wee wee bow, guys, from HTG. Very good attack, bud. Very lovely three star. All right, guys, next up we have Burton over in Ihawks, one of our feeder clans. But he does a really good job on this base. And I've seen this base a few times, and I used something similar on this base in the past. Uh, he's going to use a Queen Walk Witch Slap basically on this one. And it's going to work out really well for him, working the Queen in from the top side and the Witches down here at the bottom. And it just works out really well. We see the Dragon and Valkyries coming out of the clan castle. And I want to showcase this one because I've seen this base quite a few times and I've seen it stump some people. So that's why I want to show this one off from Burton because this base can be a little bit of a tricky one if you don't really know how to go at it. So Burton does a really good job of taking this base down and that's what we're going to showcase this one. So he's going to start off with the Queen Walk and then he, what he's going to do is he's going to go ahead and send that Golem in there to kind of distract some of these defenses and tank just a little bit. That way he can get some Witches and Bowlers and Wizards and all that great stuff working it right in there clear through that golem and it's just going to be a good job guys it's just going to clear out absolutely beautiful no witches going in yet my bad on that one but here comes the king here come the bowlers that golem just tanking really well the king's going to get out in front and tank for the bowlers now i think i would have got the king in just a little bit before the bowlers but that's all good here come the witches once that uh all that trash and stuff is taken out right there i'm going to send a few witches down this side and then a few witches are actually going to go up top and meet with the queen I think he intended for those witches to go inside, but honestly, it works out really well that they don't go inside. I don't think it was a necessity for the witches to go inside. They do hit that giant bomb right there, which that hurt quite a bit. But the bowlers and king just working right up the center. Actually, the king's knocked out. Bowlers working right up the center, and it's just going to be a really clean attack here, guys. Once you clear out a lot of that splash damage, witches are just going to go to work. Have those skellies up. And you see the mortar right there taking out some of the skellies, but it's not that big of a deal, honestly. Tons of witches up top, tons of skeletons up top. And just absolutely wrecking right through this base. A really well-executed attack on this one. Using that queen walk to take out the clan castle. And then just using the witches and bowlers and king just to wreck right through the rest of this base. This base never stood a chance, guys. This one was absolutely wrecked. A very nice plan here by Burton on this one. And again, I want to showcase this so you guys can kind of see how to attack a base like this. Because... I've seen this base quite a few times. It seems to be a kind of a popular war base. So this will kind of give you an idea of one of the attacks you can do on it. Or something similar to this. And you can see how effective it is. Because he has tons and tons of witches left. Plus his queen still at full health. Lovely, lovely attack by Burton over there in Ihawks. Just want to showcase that one so you guys can have that for your records. Maybe you see that base and like, wait, Bash, Bash showed that base off. You can go back to that and check that out. All right, guys, this time Mises is going to bring eight witches on the Valkyrie Witch a Slap Attack. Again, I think this is the Red Witch, if we're going names. But going to bring in the witches. He's going to send a few witches up the center here. Three witches on either side just to start working. There's not too much splash damage. I mean, there is a little bit of, you know, Wizard Tower here, a little bit of mortar there. But there's not too much splash damage up on the outside of the base. We see those witches being brought in on the interior just to help clear out some of the trash. Again, those Valkyries in there just to help clear out trash really fast and just establish that funnel. That's what works really well is the Valkyries will come in and just clear out a lot of those trash buildings to get the funnel established pretty well. Uh, we see the jump spell going down right there. Clan Castle troops coming out. Enemy Queen's just standing right there and she's gonna get taken out by bowlers. We do see that Tesla farm down at the bottom, but again, the witch is able to tank through it with the healers. The healers got a nerf on troops, 
But I feel like it's still fine, guys. I feel like witches are strong enough. Witches got a hit point buff, so it kind of almost counteracts the healing nerf, you know? It's kind of crazy how this one works out. And this this base just gets absolutely wrecked, progresses really nice and well through it. Uh, you see up top, he did, you know, lose his healers. The healers went to the king, but it's all right. You got enough on this attack that if one part of it goes wrong, usually the other side will fix itself or at least help it out a little bit. And that's what exactly happens right here. Still got the witches up top. It's not like he doesn't have the witches. The witches are still going to do their work up top. They just don't have a healer. And then the witches at the bottom just going to be OP. Still got the queen left. Still got the king's ability. The king's being healed, actually. So you got a super king there. You got a super bowler down here. Just plenty of troops left to take this one out. Queen's going to help out on that wizard tower. Witches are smart enough to go see that builder's hut in the corner. And again, Misa's just going to absolutely wreck through this one. Not even really that close. I mean, even though this attack didn't go that well, look how beefy that witch was against that wizard tower. It didn't have a healer, and it was still able to get through that wizard tower. Witches are crazy strong right now, guys. And we're, we'll experiment with them on our lower town hall 9, kind of as we get them unlocked. We're still waiting for them to unlock in the lab. Or, no, unlock in the dark barracks, rather. Oh, upgrading the dark barracks to get them unlocked. But you can see here, guys, these are some really quality witch attacks. And just super duper strong. Super great, amazing witch attacks uh, by everyone that was showcased here today. Appreciate all you guys with the replays, but... You guys can see again, witches got that DPS boost, boost. they got the hit point boost. They're going to be really strong. You might want to consider witches on your next Town Hall 9 attack. If you're not comfortable with it, practice it in the friendly challenges, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed today's witch video. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on those notifications, and leave a like on the video. Oh yeah, and don't forget to keep on Clash Bashing.